words cannot really describe how excited and happy and grateful I am this day. And, um, you know, the word teaches us that there's a time for everything. There's a time for war. There's a time for peace. There's a time for sorrow. You know, in, in um, Proverbs or Ecclesiastes, or I can't remember exactly what book it is, but you know what scripture I'm referring to. And so our Father teaches us that there's a time for everything. And now is a time for salvation. The sun, the moon, the stars are decreeing and declaring, showing us um, what is taking place in the spiritual realm. All glory be unto our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And I want to, I, I didn't understand um, the Father was showing me these scriptures in in Esther and showing me these, showed me this scripture that I'm about to read. And I didn't understand until last night what he was showing me. I didn't understand in, in its fullness yet. But now I understand, brothers and sisters, this is a, a mighty and glorious day. Remember in the word of God, it says that this is the time for all things written to be fulfilled. So all of the words, all of the words, all of the scriptures, right? The scripture is not a history book. This is a living, breathing uh, document. This is alive. It is active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. And so the spirit, the almighty power of this word moves in the heavens, in the spiritual realm and in our lives and in all the earth. And it, it manifests. And this is the time for all things written to be fulfilled. That's what the Lord says. And he says that the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and the stars. So we're going to look at these heavenly signs, brothers and sisters, I'm going to share with you, brothers and sisters, if you understand the significance, the magnitude of what is happening in the spiritual realm and what this day represents, you would be, and and what is happening, you would be dancing up and down, doing a Holy, Holy Spirit jig, um, as Brother Ken Peters said. Um, and so um, I know that the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to you the same thing. He's going to confirm these things with you. And um, and these are the if if we have faith in Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, we believe in what he said. We believe in the things he said. We believe in the word of God. And the Holy Spirit will confirm with you. And with that being said, brothers and sisters. I'm also going to share with you, as led by the Holy Spirit, the other side of these things, too, that we must acknowledge, that we must examine, that we must, um, we must understand. And just in that same scripture that I, that, um, that I was saying earlier, there's a time for peace, a time for war, um, you know, there's also other things, brothers and sisters, that we must know and understand and acknowledge. And these are scriptures that I'm going to go in. And, and most importantly, brothers and sisters, in this video, we are going to partake in the sacrifice, the communion offering, the communion sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, that he showed us, that he taught us to partake in that he said um, that if you do not partake in that bread, that that one does not have life in them. True children of God believe in what the Lord 
in Savior, what our Savior Yeshua HaMashiach said when he took bread and blessed it and said, this is my body. True children of God, a true faith believes in that. And so we are going to partake in that that offering and that sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Yeshua Hamashiach. Um, so if you have your communion elements, and we're going to go over um, some scriptures, um, we're going to talk about them um, before we partake, and we're going to examine ourselves. We're going to examine our our heart and realize the gravity and the magnitude of what what um what we are doing what we're partaking in and so all glory be to god um brothers and sisters if you could join me in agreement as we say a quick prayer so with one mind with one accord in agreement with our brothers and sisters wherever they are in all four corners of the earth heavenly father in the most glorious, magnificent name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we invite you, we pray you, we plead you, Lord, into our hearts, into this gathering, into all of our brothers and sisters' lives and the holy remnant in all four corners of the earth, Father. Father, give us this day our daily bread, everything that we need physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, that we would flourish into the sons and daughters of God that you have called and created and commanded us to be father we pray for a most mighty miraculous manifestation of miracles of salvation teach us how to give you glory in the most mightiest ways show us your word may the almighty glorious powerful powers of your spirit and your word move in our hearts and gather whomever you will whomever you desire to gather with us this day heavenly father in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray and plead the almighty, glorious, powerful powers of Calvary against any interference, against every evil angel, against Satan, that old serpent, the dragon, against every principality, against every witchcraft, against every evil power. And we pray ye, almighty, all glorious, all powerful Lord El Shaddai, we pray that you would rebuke every evil spirit, every evil angel, every evil power, every evil energy far away from us, that we would be free to hear what thus saith the Lord. Father, your word says, wherever two or more gathered in your name, that you are in our midst. And Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, Holy Spirit, we gather together in the most glorious name of our Savior, Messiah, Redeemer, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. So in 2 Corinthians, this is what the Holy Spirit led me to last night. As his fellow workers, this is 2 Corinthians uh, 21. As his fellow workers, we beg you once again not to neglect the grace of God that you have received. For he says, at a favorable time, I have listened to you. On the day of salvation... I came to your help. Well, now is the favorable time. This is the day of salvation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. All glory be unto you. And also with that being said, brothers and sisters, um, We also must remember, brothers and sisters, that there are not all believe not all people that believe in Jesus Christ in their mind are true believers, are the true children of God, but those who do the will of the Father. So this is also a scripture that the uh, the Holy Spirit led me to just a little while ago. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So in agreement with you, brothers and sisters, we pray, we send up a prayer, an offering of thanksgiving and praise unto Almighty, all glorious, all powerful, Yahweh Sabbath, the Lord God Almighty, 
And we pray ye, Lord, that we and all of our true brothers and sisters in all four corners of the earth would bear fruit. We pray that we would always abide in you, Lord. And we pray that we would yield out a rich harvest of fruits all the now and all the days of our lives for your glory, for your kingdom, for the salvation and help of others. In Yeshua, Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen. Okay, so um, brothers and sisters, if you have your communion elements, but first I'm going to show you the sign, okay? And the signs that our Lord has shown us. Now, brothers and sisters, yesterday I did a video. If maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't, but it's on um, this migrant sent to to be housed in New York City, right? But later on in this video, I showed people a, a, a sign that that I was shown probably earlier this week. And remember what the Lord says, brothers and sisters, there will be signs in the sun, moon and stars. So that's where the signs will be on Earth. Nations will be in anguish. Check. Isn't that happening right now? And perplexity at the roaring and the tossing of the sea. Check. Look at how the ocean and all this is acting. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Right. Those are the principal, all the evil angels. At that time, they will see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. This also means cloud. This word in Hebrew also can mean spirit. Uh, we're not going to talk about this right now, brothers and sisters, a lot of people, um, or we're not going to talk about this um, right now, but uh, um, remember this, brothers and sisters, it says, when these things begin to take place, right, all of these signs, right, that we're seeing right now. What did the what did the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ say? When these things begin to take place, stand up, lift up your heads. That's how we are seeing these signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars. We're looking up as we're looking at these signs, brothers and sisters, that um that the Lord showed me that I'm going to share with you. Maybe some of you already know. Um, he said to lift up our heads and see these signs because our redemption is drawing near. And brothers and sisters, I am here to tell you that this day will be remembered for generations to come. And our redemption has drawn near, brothers and sisters. Our redemption has been made manifest. And I'm going to show you that right now in the places where the Lord told us to look right in the scripture, in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars. So in this video, um, I there was a, a asteroid. It was either an asteroid, yeah, an asteroid. And it was called Asteroid 2022 QP4. Now, brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit showed me and showed other brothers and sisters how to understand what these asteroids means. Because we can see the asteroids, but we don't know what they mean. Now, when, when they get given a name, brothers and sisters, like this is called QP 2022 QP4, we can look at the, the way the, the Lord made this very simple for us, that we look up these numbers, we can look up these numbers in Strong's and therefore get the interpretation of what the sign is. So we have the numbers 2022 20, is in one segment, QP is in another, and then the, the number four. So 2022, 20, so this happened, brothers and sisters, two days ago, this sign happened right at the same time that this sign in the sun is happening, okay? So 20, uh, QP equals 1716. Q is the 17th letter of the alphabet. P is the 16th. Or, yeah. Hold on just a second. Okay, I had to do I had to make sure that the that my math was correct. But yes, yeah, so Q is the 17th letter and um of the alphabet. P is the 16th. So that equals 1716. So real quickly, brothers and sisters, 
1716 in Strong's Concordance. And this is how the Holy Spirit showed me what how we can know the meaning and, and what this what these stars actually mean, these comets and asteroids. So 1716 in um in Hebrew is Degar, right? Which means to gather together as a brood. And but it also means to spit upon. Okay. So these signs, brothers and sisters, can mean a, uh, um, several things. They can mean several things together. It's not just, okay, that it means one thing. Um, these, these comets mean, uh, these signs mean multiple um, things, okay? So to gather together, okay? That's what Degar means, to gather together, okay? So glory be to God. Now, look at all the other confirmations, brothers and sisters. This is why the Lord was showing me all these things about salvation in these scriptures in the book of Esther, right? And this, there's so many times, brothers and sisters, right, um, that, like here in Zechariah, where it talks about the Lord saving them in that day, right? And and brothers and sisters, remember that you have a spirit, you have a part of you that is in another realm. Yes, some people who are believers, yes, they're already in the present. They're already in 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 the um, higher places than others, right? Because not everybody is actually, um, not all believers are at the same level, at the same place right now. But brothers and sisters, we all have a spirit, a part, a soul, and that that part of us is in another realm. Okay, so when these things happen, brothers and sisters, like when the Lord said, you might not see it in this physical realm where you're conscious in your in your physical body is, but you have another part of you that's in another realm that as these things are written, as the way that you perceive them in your mind, they are manifesting and being fulfilled in in um in the way that you perceive, but you are in the physical realm your conscious your body is in this physical realm right but you have another part of you that is in another realm where divine things that are happening where the laws of the physical realm do not apply okay so you have another part of you that things are happening in the scriptures and you, you're not always, most of the time, you're not conscious of them. But because you're in the physical, there's the physical realm, and that's where we are. There will be a sign and a manifestation of what is going on in that spiritual realm. You understand? So here's an example of, the, and there's many scriptures like this, brothers and sisters. It says, and the Lord their God shall save them in that day. So you I'm not saying that this is the exact scripture that's being fulfilled. I'm not sure, brothers and sisters. All I know is that a redemption, a gathering, a salvation is taking place at this moment of time. There is many places in the scriptures, right? Remember what I said in the beginning. This is the time for all things written to be fulfilled. That means all of the words in the Bible, right? The, the scriptures are not just fulfilled physically in the literate, like, for instance, when Elijah did all those things, that happened in the physical realm. But there, but the Elijah in the end days will do that in the spiritual realm because the word is not just fulfilled physically. There's a spiritual fulfillment of the word as well. And then all of those things happen throughout time. And then they get written down by the angels that the word was, was fulfilled um, in its fullness, not just in the physical, but in the spiritual as well, and in other other ways as well. But, um, you know, it says, the Lord their God shall save them in that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be as the stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land. So brothers and sisters, think of how many scriptures that it talks about the Lord coming to save his people, gather him on the mountain, 
on that great day. And remember what the Lord says. This is the time for all things written to be fulfilled. So these things are taking place right now. They're taking place as we speak, but they're going to take place soon. Um, it, they're going to take place in the future as well. And they, they might take place in a greater way. Some of these things will take place in the physical realm where people's physical bodies will be taken and transported or moved into another place, right? That's another, that's a different, another type of manifestation of the word of God. That's just not happening in the, in the spiritual, but there's a physical fulfillment of this salvation that will happen too. And that is soon to come, but nevertheless, do not disregard, do not, do not, not see that the spirit, that this salvation, this redemption is happening as we speak and the signs are all here. So, um, yes, brothers and sisters, 2022 also is the other name that is associated with that comet or that asteroid. And 2022 in Strong's Concordance means a mountain, a hill, right? A mountain and a hill and to pour upon. Okay, so we have 1716 to gather together, 2022 to pour upon and a mountain and a hill. Okay, so and then I didn't look up. Um, I didn't look up the number four, you can look up the number four in Strong's and what what that is. Um, but that's that's the meaning of that is the meaning of this asteroid that has passed by um earth but that's not the only sign already there we have multiple witnesses just in the one star that one asteroid but there's another sign too and this is what really um got my attention and i started the Holy Spirit started connecting all these things that the Lord was showing me about. He was leading me to these scriptures about salvation and and all these other things I'm going to show you now. Okay, brothers and sisters. So now I'm going to show you the other sign. The other sign is in the sun. Just like the Lord says in Luke 21, there will be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars. We have sunspot 3085 AR 3085 and I didn't look up what AR which A would be one and R would be whatever number it is in the alphabet but 3085 a sunspot spotted a couple days ago has now grown 10 times its size so this this sunspot is growing which, what does that mean, brothers and sisters? Why is it growing? Because the salvation is increasing. The gathering is increasing, okay? Splitting into a double sunspot group. So remember when the Lord talks about saving the, the, the two different groups? There's, there's many scriptures, brothers and sisters, where it talks about the Lord saving his, the, these two tribes, these two groups of people, and, and it's in the Old Testament um, several times. I don't know exactly where it is. Maybe, Lord willing, I'll, fi I'll, I'll find it and um, maybe in the next week and, and share with you. But a double sunspot group with cores as big as the earth itself, brothers and sisters. With cores as big as the earth itself. And, of course... We're living in the times with what's bad is good and what's good is bad. So here in the world, they say what's problematic is the duo are now pointing directly towards Earth. So all of this energy, these pro photons or protons, whatever it is, are, are pointing towards the Earth, brothers and sisters. And as that energy, what this sunspot means and why it's manifesting and that energy pointing towards earth and all of that hitting um, people in all the earth. That is the sign. That's the time that it's a huge sign, brothers and sisters. That means so much. Um, I won't go, I won't go into that right now. I'll stay focused, but it says AR 3085, a sunspot, a sun spot spotted a couple of days ago has now grown 10 times its size, splitting into a double sunspot spot group, sunspot group with cores as big as the earth itself. Okay. So 
3085, brothers and sisters, in Strong's is a ransoming and it also is Yehoiada. Yehoiada means the Lord has adorned. A ransoming, right? Ransoming is also redemption. Look at what this means, brothers and sisters. 30, 3085, ransoming from imprisonment for debt or from slavery, release from national misfortune, etc. Liberation, deliverance, release. This is re this is redemption, brothers and sisters. That's what this sign means. All these signs in the sun, the asteroids, in the stars, in the sun. There's probably signs in the moon too. Um, the the where the moon and all that and the constellations are where it's where it's setting and all that stuff where the constellations are probably there's more signs i don't even know about but um brothers and sisters this is the sign of redemption it's happening and what this Yehoiada means the Lord has adorned. What has the Lord adorned them with? With redemption. The Lord has adorned his people with redemption. And he's gathering to he's gathering them together, Dagar, and he's gathering them together on where? On 2022 Strong's on a mountain and a hill, just like he says many times in the scriptures in the Old Testament, the Lord said, look, the day of salvation is now, and that is today. It is manifested, brothers and sisters, all glory and thanksgiving and praise be to God. So I wanted to share that with you, brothers and sisters. This is a sign, brothers and sisters, this day. This day will be remembered. This is a day where in in the past, brothers and sisters, whenever um, our forefathers and foremothers were at war or they were going through a lot of trials and tribulations, and then the Lord came and did something mighty and slayed the enemy and made a way for them and saved them, the, these days get noted down and remembered for ge for generations. And so this day is a day of salvation, brothers and sisters, and it will be remembered. The Lord showed me it will be remembered for generations to come. Okay. And so these are the signs. Um, these are the signs. Uh, it also means to pour upon. So 2022, it could be uh, to pour upon 1716, to pour upon, to gather together, to pour upon ransoming salvation that the lord has adorned his people with it's all right here brothers and sisters it's all right here so um this is brothers and sisters i know that there's a lot of um you know uh, yeah and you look at all these brothers and sisters about the lord being his people's salvation right in the book of psalms but it's also in exodus and Micah, I don't know where the one of my, or Habakkuk, um, Jeremiah, Isaiah, all of these scriptures, brothers and sisters, are these scriptures are what's manifesting. And today is a day of salvation. And the way that we have salvation, brothers and sisters, is through the body and blood. When, when it talks about the Lord is my salvation, brothers and sisters, what they're talking now, now that they're, that our Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMashiach has come, he has come now, brothers and sisters. And what has he given us? He's given us his body and his blood. He's given us his body and his blood to be able to have salvation. He gave us his body and his blood on Calvary for us to have, um, um, for for our salvation the greatest gift of mankind the sat this is when this is blessed when you believe in in our lord and what he said this is the manifestation this is the manifestation in the power of the sacrifice of calvary that he gave to us as the greatest gift to mankind that we may partake in if we that we partake in if we believe and receive the deliverance the transformation of his body and his blood so um i wanted to share this with you brothers and sisters um 
you know, there's there's also this scripture um, in Isaiah that I wanted to show you, Isaiah 25. And it says, and in that day, it will be said, surely this is our God. We have waited for him and he has saved us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. So brothers and sisters, this day, I want to encourage you. And I want to ask you, if you are, uh, if you believe, if you're a true child of God, then please join me as we partake in the sacrifice of Calvary in the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And let us lift up together with one mind, with one accord, in agreement with one another. Let us lift up an offering unto our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, for everything he is. And let this offering pour forth out of our heart, out of not just because we should, but because we love him, because of everything that he is. So I want to ask you, I pray to you, I encourage you. Pray just means to ask, brothers and sisters. But I ask you if you will join me in agreement that together we would lift up this offering of thanksgiving, of praise, and let us glorify our Lord together and partake in his sacrifice of his body and his blood the greatest gift given to mankind. And brothers and sisters, let us pray that, let us pray together that all of our brothers and sisters, all of those in the holy remnant, all those of our brothers and sisters in all four corners of the earth would receive the miracles, the blessings, the graces, the gifts, the transformation of this body and blood too. All of our brothers and sisters that don't get to hear this, that don't get to be with us, that don't know that what is going on, let us pray. Let us um, come into agreement that they would say, because the Lord says, whatever you pray in agreement, it shall be done. So if we pray in agreements that they would receive this, these miracles, this deliverance, um, the, the blessings of the Lord's body and blood, um, then they will receive it too. And that is good. Um, we are a line of priests. In, in Christ, there is no male or female, but we lay ourselves down as a living sacrifice unto our Lord. And, and we make intercession for others and we pray for others. And the Lord hears those prayers and he answers them. All glory be to God. For um and and it, we had, we are advancing the kingdom of Christ and His word is being fulfilled and made manifest. All glory be to God. So, so brothers and sisters, if you'll join me, I'm gonna go ahead and um pour out this um pour this little cup of wine. If you have juice or grape juice, that's fine. I I use exactly what it says in the scriptures, and I encourage you to do that, brothers and sisters. But if all you have is crackers and juice, then that's okay too. And brothers and sisters, if you um, you know, I want to encourage you to get um real communion elements, you know, um, and if if you don't have money, if you don't have money and you need something, brothers and sisters, um, then please email me. I'll leave it in the description and let me know and and we can help you so we can help you. That's what we're here for. That's what we're commanded to do. Um, the Lord has blessed, blessed us, um, blessed me to be able to do that. So um, and and it's not a lot, but I. I don't need, I don't need much. All I need is, is just what I, my basic necessities every day, but I'm not storing up riches for this world. Um, and this is a time that we should sow brothers and sisters and do what the word tells and commands us to right and yield out and bear rich fruits. When we help one another, when we help the orphan and the widow, the homeless, 
the, those in prison, minister to them, either in the spirit by moving the heart of the Lord or physically doing that, ministering to the elderly, letting them know that the Lord loves, you know, um, and, and you can just, if you can't go there, literally, brothers and sisters, you can pray that the Lord would send somebody there and he will. And somebody will do the footwork, but you must do the work spiritually in order for that to happen. If you don't, if you're not able to go there literally or physically, then move the heart of the Lord and ask him to send somebody to do that. But um, yes, brothers and sisters, um, let us partake in, um, in the way that, that we do this, brothers and sisters, is exactly how the Lord commanded us and showed us in Matthew 26, 26. So if you have your communion elements, brothers and sisters, let us join together with one mind, with one accord, in agreement with one another, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus Christ, and let us pray, let us glorify and praise and magnify the Lord God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And, and partake in the greatest gift he has given us and pray that all of our brothers and sisters receive this miracle, this blessing, this transformation in all four corners of the earth. So in agreement with you, brothers and sisters, with one mind, with one accord, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Abba Father, Lord God Almighty, who stretched out the earth and the heavens, with your most mighty and glorious and lofty arm, who spoke the world into existence, who formed us from the dust of the earth and breathed life into us. O oh Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, we approach your throne of grace in pouring forth out of mine and all my brothers and sisters who are in agreement with us, pouring forth out of our hearts, out of pure love for you, flows a river, flows an offering of love, of adoration, of blessing, thanksgiving, and praise. All glory, thanksgiving, blessing, and praise, and majesty be unto the Lord God Almighty who sits on the throne. Heavenly Father, you have given your people dominion under all the heavens in your word in the book of genesis you gave us dominion to have under all the heavens over every beast over all the earth over all the fishes of the sea and so in agreement with our brothers and sisters we decree and declare that all of creation under all the heavens along with us in our innermost selves and in our whole being and all of our heart bless and exalt and extol and glorify and praise Thy most glorious name in praise and glorify and magnify everything that you are in all the earth, in all the spiritual realm, in all the heavens, and even above the highest of highest heavens. For even the heavens are not holy and pure enough for you, Father. But above the highest of highest heavens, where no evil word has been spoken, where no evil thought has been conceived, where no evil angel has gone. It is there, Father, that we exalt and glorify and praise and magnify everything that you are. All of creation under all the heavens, all dominion of the Lord God Almighty, all the waters in all the heavens and all the holy heavenly hosts, praise and bless and exalt and magnify and glorify the Lord God Almighty who sits on the throne. Praise and bless and exalt and glorify and lift up and glorify everything our Abba Father is in all the earth, in all the heavens and above the highest of highest heavens. Heavenly Father, thank you. We thank you for adorning us with your salvation this day. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Father, that you are everything that we seek. You are everything that we desire. Father, you know that we desire. You know all of the things in our heart, all of our thoughts, all of our desires. You know that, yes, being a human being, desiring things like food, a family, love from other human beings. Yes, Lord, we desire these things. Children, 
to be provided for. But Father, we do not desire these things more than we desire you. We desire you above all. We love you above all. We praise you above all. We glorify you above all. We magnify you above all. We lift you up above even the highest of highest heavens. And we ascribe all glory, all love, all praise, all dominion, all adoration, all thanksgiving and glory unto you. The Father, the Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Father, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your only begotten Son into this world to purchase our sins, to show us the way to life everlasting. Thank you, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, for showing us the way to life everlasting, for laying your body down for us as the ultimate blameless, spotless, blemishless sacrifice that we would be able to even enter into the presence of the Lord at this very moment and to be in his presence forever and ever. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All thanksgiving and praise and glory be unto you, Holy Spirit, for being an, ever, for being an anointing upon us, for being with us all the days of our lives and forevermore, for transforming us, for being the most mighty defensive wall against the attacks of our enemies. Shield us under the mantle of your most glorious light. Be burned as an everlasting flame in the hearts and the temples of me and all my brothers and sisters in agreement with us today and all of our brothers and sisters in all four corners of the earth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, El Elyon, Adonai, El Shaddai, Yahweh Sabuoth, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Mekodeshkem, all glory and praise and blessing and majesty unto you in all your most mighty glorious names, Lord. Come into our lives. Come into our temples as all of your names and what they mean. Come into our lives. Come into every step and breath that we take. We pray this in agreement together. In Jesus, Yeshua's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, it says in Corinthians to reflect and to acknowledge before we partake in the Lord's Supper, before we partake in the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and recognize that when this is blessed, brothers and sisters, that this becomes living bread, that when this is blessed, that this becomes the blood of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Right now, yes, it is bread and wine, but as you can see, brothers and sisters, when Jesus took bread and then it becomes blessed, what happens to something that is blessed? It becomes holy and sanctified. And then he says, take, eat, this is my body. So brothers and sisters, recognize that this is the greatest gift do not waste one drop. We and, and we're going, we pray in agreement right now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach that every crumb, every residue that does not get consumed, Father, by us, we pray that that part would not be blessed. Anything that is left behind, that there would be no sin, no disrespect done to your sacrifice, done to your body and blood, that only the part that we consume that that part would be blessed, Father, that we would not transgress against your body and blood. Because, brothers and sisters, Paul says in Corinthians that there were people that were not recognizing what communion was. They were not recognizing that it was truly the greatest gift, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach, and that they committed sins against the body and blood of Yeshua Mashiach. And we do not want to do that. We do not want to be guilty of that. And we do not want to do that. So brothers and sisters, let us join in agreement and partake in the sacrifice of Calvary. And we're going to do it exactly the way that our Lord showed us in his word.
all glory and praise be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, our Lord, King, Savior, Messiah, and Redeemer, Yeshua, Mashiach, forever and ever. So as they were eating, Yeshua, Jesus, took bread and blessed it. Heavenly Father, please bestow, look kindly upon this offering of bread that we bring before you and bestow your blessings upon this, Lord, in a most mighty way that we may partake in the body of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And we pray in agreement with all of our brothers and sisters that not only us, but all of our brothers and sisters we are connected with in all four corners of the earth receive the miracles, the transformation, the deliverance, the ransoming, the freedom of the deliverance of the sacrifice of Calvary in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, in his sinless life, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension into glory, all thanksgiving, praise, and blessing be to our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And he broke it. He broke it. And gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, he said, this is my body. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for giving us the greatest gift of all. And we pray that all of our brothers and sisters receive your deliverance and the merits and the power and the miracle and the freedom of the body and blood that we partake in this day. Amen. And then he took the cup and gave thanks. He gave thanks. So, Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your only begotten Son into this world to purchase our sins. Thank you, Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus Christ, for showing us the way to life everlasting. Thank you for shedding your body and your blood on Calvary for us, that we would receive salvation. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Mashiach, flow inside of each and every one of God's true children in all four corners of the earth and destroy every power of sin and death, reversing every effect of sin and evil and raising us to new life, raising us to salvation, raising us into the gathering of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. All glory, thanksgiving, praise, blessing, and majesty. Be to, the, be to our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, in his body and blood that he defeated Satan and paid a ransom for our sins and delivered us from death. Amen. And he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until the day I drink it new with you. In my Father's kingdom. Amen. And then it says they had sung a hymn and went to the Mount of Olives. So Heavenly Father, in agreement with our brothers and sisters, we lift up to you a new song this day. Move in our hearts, Lord. Lord, our whole our whole being, our whole heart sings unto you new a new song and glorifies and blesses and worships and praises you this day. All glory be unto the Father, all glory be unto the Son, all glory be unto the Holy Spirit, all glory be unto the Lord God Almighty forever and ever. All glory, blessing, majesty, praise, and thanksgiving be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, it was mighty and awesome to partake 
with you this day um partake in the lord's sacrifice of his body and his blood and um to be alive with you in these end days and to see these the, to witness these signs and these miracles and that the lord has counted us worthy to show us and to share with us what these things mean and to, and to know what is going on so brothers and sisters praise the lord this day glorify him and magnify him and exalt his glorious name most glorious name and everything that he is worship him this day praise him and glorify him in jesus name yeshua hamashiach lord king savior messiah redeemer amen